Hello, I'm Yasser Janab, Interventional Cardiologist in Tehran Heart Center, presenting the case Pelvic Congestion Syndrome and May Turner Syndrome. Our case is a 41-year-old lady presented with a two-year history of lower pelvic pain, worsening in the evenings and during standing dyspareunia and postcoital pain. She had no history of deep vein thrombosis and on her physical examination, there was no varicose veins in genitalia and lower extremities. Duplex ultrasound examination showed no evidence of femoral vein and external alveolar vein deep vein thrombosis. Transvaginal sonography showed only dilated ovarian venous plexuses about 6 mm with no other abnormality. For more evaluation of pelvic and also varicose veins in ovarian and iliac veins, CT venography was done. It showed patent IVC, no abnormalities in the gonadal venous vasculature, a compressed left iliac vein, patent bilateral external and femoral veins. The overall, it was compatible with possible May Turner syndrome. Venography was done for more evaluation of gonadal and iliac veins. It showed occluded left common iliac vein with many collaterals to contralateral venous system. So, angioplasty of left common iliac vein was done with a self-expandable sinus venous stent. We can see the final result. Pelvic congestion syndrome is characterized by pain as well as by the presence of pelvic and vulval varicosities, and it is a frequently underdiagnosed cause of chronic pelvic pain. The primary cause of pelvic congestion syndrome is pelvic venous insufficiency, which refers to incompetence of the ovarian vein, internal iliac vein, or both, resulting in venous hypertension in the deep pelvis, leading to the development of varicosities. It also be noted that May Turner syndrome refers to condition in which the left common iliac vein is compressed by the overlying right common iliac artery. So, pelvic congestion syndrome can be caused by May Turner syndrome by retrograde flow through the internal iliac veins and cross pelvic collaterals. In summary, pelvic congestion syndrome is often caused by primary venous insufficiency. But in rare cases, structural abnormalities such as Maternal syndrome caused by left iliac vein compression can result in the development of pelvic pain and pelvic congestion syndrome. Thanks for your watching.